Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. Well, picked Janet up from the airport on Monday and we shopped Monday and we shopped yesterday and today we're actually doing some crafting but I'm going to show you what we did get from three different places, three or four, and this is from an antique place close to where I live. Now this is from the 1930s, 40s and I don't like that what is in the front of that there but it is a cigarette case but I don't smoke and I'm going to cover that with laces so but look at it has the little powder puff and it has the attached lipstick I mean you can't find this today it's an original piece and it has uh, once I cover up the other side I think it'll be lovely and I will use that for a craft spot and then we found this at the antique store and it is another, it actually has powder. I haven't cleaned any of these things, but isn't that pretty? And I'll be using that in one of my lace books. And this is a bag of jewelry that they keep there for me of just straggled jewelry they don't use. So every week I stop by there and I pick up what uh, they have in the little bag. And this was my little bag right there. But I couldn't stop at that. No. I saw this and I really liked it. This brooch with the emeralds, which is for my birthday. Yeah, and it has those beautiful leaves and it has the earrings. So I get this for the lace albums as well. So that was a nice uh, find and I really like this as well. Look at that with the diamonds around there. This would make a nice clasp on any book whether it be lace or made out of paper with the matching earrings so I had to pick that up for my stash yeah I keep looking at it, it is very pretty now these were in the original, I wanted to show you that this is an original jewelers here in our town and I bought this for stick pins I just love the colors in it, the browns and the creams so I uh, had the matching earrings. So that's what I'm solely going to use this for is stick pins. And this is, I absolutely love it. Beautiful. I'm going to be able to use this heart for sure to make a lace project. It had the black Alaskan fan right here with the diamonds going up the side. And isn't that pretty? I love black Alaskan. Yes. And this is at the antique store. And it had this little crocheted hat with a purse with a penny in it from 1948, I think. 1946, actually. Isn't that sweet? Somebody crocheted that little wee hat to a little purse like that. Crazy nice. I wish you could see this velvet heart. It is really beautiful. And it has the clips to put the necklace in. And it has the clips for the clip earrings. And this just caught my eye immediately. It, it will really make a nice piece for any lace project. Isn't that pretty? It's just stunning. And then I'll do a heart um, lace project with that. Now we're moving on to the Salvation Army in Buffalo, New York. And that's the name of the China there. And this is the three-tier set. I'm just washing it up before I actually run it through the dishwasher. And uh, the only thing missing that I found out as I was putting it together is the bottom little screw, the flat screw to it, but I have those around the house so I'll be able to put this together. I, I like the colors and then, oh yes, this little heart, I found that. And um, I'll use that on a project. And this one was from our thrift store. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It has a little rose, it has a pocket watch, it has the gold uh, leaves, and uh, yeah, and it wiggles to boot. I mean, isn't that crazy? And I actually stopped at this thrift store before I picked Janet up at the airport because I had 35 minutes that I had to use up before I went over the border. So I thought, oh, I'll stop at our thrift store. So I picked that up there, and I think I got something else there. Oh, this little lotion. This um, little china lotion container I wanted to have for on top of the crafter. Now I'm speeding this up a little bit so 
doesn't take so long. I wanted to see if everything was in with this. It was $7.99 US for this set. It came in the box, um, but it was missing the bottom little screw. It could have been in the bag. I don't know. This was late last night that I did this video. I'm just editing this morning while Janet is working on her project down in my craft room. And uh, isn't that pretty? So I'm just setting everything when I realized that I must have thrown out the little screw that goes on the bottom of the plate. But anyway, that's going to be for my um, flowers. And then these two little boxes, I think they were 39 cents. I'm going to use these, yep, 39 cents for um, pin cushions. I'm going to make that as a craft, a double up craft. This would be a nice gift to send out, actually. So we will do that with those. I saw them, and now this one was at my thrift store. And I'm taking all the tags off while I'm doing this last night because I wanted to put everything away. Isn't this pretty? It has magnets in it that actually magnet the front. And here's another one that I got at our thrift store. Just love this. And like I say, I'm cutting out the tags. And then I had some jewelry that I had bought. This jewelry is from Buffalo. Isn't it pretty? Uh, just gorgeous. I love that long hair clip right here. I thought that would look nice. And then the hearts and this other piece and the floral diamonds. I tried to move this video along quite fast because there's a lot of stuff to go through, of course. Wait till you see this one. Isn't this fantastic? This is going to be for my avocado dyeing. I don't have to use uh, cheesecloth in my strainer. And it comes off, it just clips on this bag. It almost looks like a butterfly catcher, doesn't it? <laughs> But it has the handle and it was five dollars and I can wash that and strain out my avocado when I boil it up. I loved that. And then as I was standing by the register here, this little purse was on display. It had the wedding rings, a doily, some flowers, and this purse. And I thought, boy, you could take all of that off and redo it. Like I'll be taking all the guts out and doing something else with that. So that was a nice find that was at ours. And then I found these uh, uh, shower curtain holders that had the pearls on the top. And I thought, wouldn't this be lovely to hold wall hangings or any type projects that you had to hang up? And you get so many of them and it was $3. So that was a nice find. And it must have been my day. This was $2.99 for purses, vintage purses. And I'll be redoing these, but isn't that cute? I love those hanging thingies. And I like the color, that bronze color with the satin matching on the inside. This one was at the Buffalo Thrift Store. I found this. I thought this would be interesting to put in a tea time lace album. And it's for your loose leaves to put inside your teacup. So this was just as I was going out the door, I saw this, and I thought it was very pretty. And it's stainless steel. It's called Tea Time. 79 cents. So that was a good buy. So I'll put that aside. Yeah, isn't that sweet? We can use that. And it was a really nice day. We got to hit a lot of thrift stores in the last two days. And I thought this would be nice to make with our laces as well. And it's a wallet, which I really like. So I thought I could turn that into a wedding gift, maybe. This can was really interesting. It's metal, and uh, you can see that stitched all the way around there. It's a nice size. I don't know. I'm going to revamp the whole inside of it. It's like a green velvet, and I guess that's for a candle. That's what I was thinking. Then it had the folded... Um, material on the top portion. Isn't that a nice picture? And then it has kind of like a leatherette thing going on in the bottom. So that was a nice find. We actually did find a lot of nice pieces. And this here is um, it's a different piece. I really like it. Like it was $2.99 and um, I could either paint over it I am going to uh, redo it and take this off and 
put some new laces on and things, but isn't she pretty? I'm trying to see if the camera will go up so you can see farther up on that, but I do have her sitting out later on. Okay, I didn't show it quite uh, nicely there, but I'll take some pics and you'll be able to see it later in the video. This little um, item Janet found, and I just love it. I took the back off. I didn't like that on there, but I do like this. It's kind of like at a straw and underneath, and it has the Battenberg lace on there that I'll take off and wash. And her hair's pulled back with that little bow. Isn't that cute? And she's praying. It's just beautiful. I'm going to show you underneath what it's made of. It's kind of like a bamboo straw thing going on. And then she has the praying hands all intertwined there. I think this is beautiful. So I'll do that and then I'll cut this around and I'll use this for some project. It won't go to waste. I really like that. And then we're going to move on. This was all, there she is. See the one beside her? And I'll put that aside and then we're going to go to, uh, this is at Buffalo as well, this little purse. It was a purse day for me. I really like this one. It said it was, uh, it had this tag on it, $29.99. It's just a small little bag, but I thought I could uh, redo that in, like I said, using up some of the laces that I've gotten. There it is. I'm just showing it that it went around the back halfway, and it's this beautiful deep blue. I absolutely love it, but I'll probably cover it all up. And then we're going to get into, this is Storybook Knits. I love this top. Um, I picked this up, actually I was paying for stuff and I, my eye went over and it was hanging on the end of a rack and I grabbed it because look at this. Look at these hanging little gems at the bottom of the sweater and it's brand new. Then it has all of these um, applique going up these pieces it's so pretty and the color is beautiful and I'm sure I could dye it out too if I didn't want this it's kind of a um, sherbet orange color and these are cream it's hard to see in there but they are a lighter cream color so I picked that up while we were there I'm taking the bags out they're all tied up so whatever I grab Whatever store we were in, <laughs> that's the kind of order that I'm going in here. Isn't this beautiful? Just love that sweater. But this is from Buffalo Stamp and Stuff. We stopped to see Sharon. And this is an embossing folder with these beautiful pine needle uh, limbs. It's just gorgeous. Both uh, Janet and I, she saw it first and then she showed me and I thought, oh, i got to have that. That's so pretty. Then I always get these magnet discs and the super magnets. These are the best ones on the market if you're looking for magnets. I wait till I go over to Sharon's store to pick them up and keep them stocked up. And then I wanted these shaker die cuts so that you can make those cute little images that slide back and forth. And they're not straight, they're like curvy. Then you get those little wee round discs to put in them which is really nice. And look at these little bee embellishments. Aren't they beautiful? Those uh, deer heads and then these skates look real. They're made out of, um, it's almost like a plastic. It's so nice and they're very three-dimensional. So pretty. Isn't that, wouldn't that look nice on a Christmas card? And then for a baby shower card or something, these little wee booties. I bought those three. And then I went for different things this time. Uh, I bought another one of the lace embellishments there. And they had, she had one cameo left, so I picked that up. And then I saw these. These little wee spools were just 20 cents each, and there was two left, so I grabbed those. And the spoon, knife, and fork. How cute is this for a lace project, for doing a tea time project? And these scissors, I bought those. They're really nice. They look like those uh, stock scissors I just bought. I'm just going to put them away there. And I'm going to use this as a mirror. It's kind of like a magnifying glass, but I'm going to put a little piece of foil on the back and use it as a mirror. And look at these to put the 
uh, cameos on top of this gold beautiful trim and then they had buy three yards and get three free so I got this in the cream color and Janet got hers in the white so we that's six yards of that and then I got buy three and get three so there's six yards of this stretchy beautiful lace trim just love this it's a cotton so pretty so we picked that up and then I love these stick pins they're really long uh, for albums I got these two I want to make some so I thought just having this sample would be nice so I picked those two up now that's all I got at Sharon's store believe it or not and I went to Tuesday morning and didn't get a thing so that's a first now look at this dress it had the price tag on of a hundred and I think it was eighty nine dollars and I absolutely fell in love with it actually somebody tried to get it was ten ninety nine this out of my cart and Janet saved the day hundred ninety eight went on for one forty seven at the store then the thrift store had it and the color of it is porcelain it is stunning and it's uh, size 12 so you have a lot of material you've got all that beautiful satin and I love the way that they put this crim crinoline trim that hard piece at the bottom so that the dress stood out I thought it was exquisite love the color and love the flowers on it so I'll be using that on an album that was a really good find we did pick up a lot of nice different pattern sequins on different things and I loved this dress. The bottom of this is so heavy with the sequins. It's going to be so easy to cut apart and then I liked the color, the turquoise. Look at all the little embellies all the way around and then look at this gold weave through the uh, inside lining. Just beautiful. I was really glad to get this. Isn't that stunning and heavy? So that makes it so that it's so easy to cut apart when you have that heavy beading. Really like that. So that dress was nice. And then this skirt is a size 16, which means you get a lot of the bottom. And look at the sequence on this, the bottom portion. Just stunning. Love it. It has little wee diamonds going through the um, crinoline top portion and look at it all. I just wanted to see how much is in there. I love it when you can get these uh, sequins in a larger size. And here's another dress. This had the jacket, has a satin lining and look at all of this applique all the way around. Then it has the gorgeous lace, the applique on the end of the sleeves at the top portion and around the collar and down the buttons. It's beautiful. And this is in the avocado pink. I don't know if it shows it in um, the video, but it is this beautiful uh, kind of like coral pink. Really nice color. That's the jacket. And then wait till you see this dress. It's nothing but lace and applique. Full of it. Look at this. Look at down the front, the sleeves, absolutely stunning. I was just thrilled to find this piece uh, around the waist. And at the bottom, it has all of this um, triangle edging of lace. And the satin on the inside of the lining, really, really pretty. And um, I'll get a lot cut out of this. And like I said, I just opened the bags last night and before I went to bed after I dropped Janet off, I um, went through all of this. And uh, so I'll be cutting all this apart. Look at that. Isn't it stunning? Just loved it. This is the thrift store that we found, a Salvation Army store in Buffalo. Then I swung around to the tops and this was there. <laughs> this is a good find too because all of the pattern can be cut out separately and it is uh, a real nice um, linen. It's just a nice, beautiful lace. I really love this. This is a good find. I can't wait to cut this one up. Really pretty. And um, this, okay, Janet found this one for me. It is a little girl's dress, a size 12. And the pattern on the top, the 
the bottom part with the frills will be excellent uh, for flowers but look at the top it's so unique with that running ribbon through it has it in the sleeves with all of that opal sequin and I will do the bottom portions in flowers I'm going to try to make one today actually just to see how it will turn out isn't that stunning I just think it's beautiful so that was another dress at the same thrift store and um, let's see what else we found there Oh, this one was at a thrift store in, sorry about that ding, I must have been getting an email. Uh, this one was from a thrift store about a half an hour from my house we did yesterday. This was underneath a sewing machine. They were using it as a display and Janet said, look at that. That was the underneath portion and look at this beautiful, it is huge this table runner. Look at all of this beautiful, beautiful lace. And I'm trying to get to show you how big it is. It was on this big table hanging down with all these frills hanging from it in layers. I'm trying to get you to see the beautiful pattern here. And it's, um, the stitching in it is with, um, trying to think it's almost like a linen thread it's just beautiful I couldn't believe it I, I went and asked the lady I said excuse me Judith do you think I could have that lace um, tablecloth <laughs> underneath your display she said no problem and she took the sewing machine off and the, and the cover and everything that was on there and she I got it for $20 I think it's just beautiful just so clean it's called the Christian benefit shop that we have near us and uh, it's a wonderful place and then Janet saw this hanging up and she brought it to me can you use this yes look at all these doilies you can get out of that this is huge 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 it's like that other one I got at the place same place actually but the other one had cream and uh, more like an orange doilies through it where this is all cream and uh, it's very old. You see that it has almost like different colored creams running throughout it. I was try I couldn't even put it on the island. It was about five times the size. It was so huge. So that was $20 as well, but I think it was worth the money. And some things you have to pay a little more for, but it is worth it. Got myself a pair of slippers. Yes, I did get something for myself. And then they had doilies. I went to the doily bin, scooped up all the doilies, and this is what was in the bin. Um, this scarf, I got this for the uh, fringes on the end. And remember last haul, I got a cream one, same one like this. One in pink and one in cream. And I sped this up a little bit so we could get through this haul because it's crazy. And we're just going to go through the doily runners. So this is a long runner. And isn't this one pretty? I really like this one. The pattern in it was beautiful. And I'm just quickly taking them off because a doily is a doily, right? Uh, this is a square one. Isn't that oh, they are beautiful. And um, I'm just folding them up. I really like this one because it had two in one. I kind of stuck it on there like that. They had two of them. Like I said, I just grabbed a... Oh, isn't that pretty? This is pretty. And then I just scooped them up and brought them up to pay for them. This is a long one. And this is at the Christian Benefit Shop. It's so nice and clean in there and organized. So it's easy. They have a great big bin where they put all their doilies. So you just have to go and scoop all the doilies up and bring it to the till. So here we go. We're just going through them real fast. This is the same as the first one I put down. Really a long runner. So that'll be nice. And this one is really fine it's really pretty I love the feel of it and look at this gold one it goes with that gold trim I got at Sharon's store really shiny sparkly I like that one too I love the different patterns in this and another square one this one kind of looks like paisley in the background I'm cutting each one off I think this says Paraguay but I like the outside of it, so I wasn't concerned what was on the inside. 
So this was a really nice haul of um, doilies. They're hard to get it seems, but they had in the bin this little bag and I grabbed that too. And look at these beautiful cotton laces. Just beautiful. And then these were remnants that somebody had already cut out, which is nice. And then I saw the tags. Look at $4.98 for this piece. And the feel of them is so beautiful. Like very vintage, very old. And this one says $6.98 for this piece. And it had, um, I'm not sure, I don't think it was birds on that one. Look at this trim with the cotton edging. Just beautiful. And I think that whole bag was like $1.98. That was a good deal. There's the birds. And they're just, the section is already cut off this linen piece. Then they're all linen, which is really nice. Then we move on to the wedding dresses. Now, the Lady Judith led us into the big bin where they hung them all up. And I picked this one up because it was satin, real satin, just beautiful. And it had all of this trim, this gorgeous trim on it. Look at that bow. There was trim as far as the eye could see on the dress. Down the, the back, it had like a double pleat full of it. And then it had the beautiful huge train right here that had all of this vintage trim on it. So I'll be taking that apart and then she said to pick out any one of the zipped up bags that had head trims. Look at this one with these beautiful flowers with all of the pearl beading inside each flower. So we got five in that zipped up bag there was five head pieces. So there was this one and I mean, when you take these apart, they're absolutely beautiful for albums. And you get the head clip. And look at how much of this little delicate daisy trim all the way around. So I will cut that out and keep this tool because you can use the tool for stuffing. I'm going to show you a tutorial on um, a butterfly using tool on the inside. So pretty. And here's another one of the head pieces and it had all of this tool attached with the clip which is very nice. I like that it came in its own separate zipped up bag all of these together so I'll be able to use the bag. Look at this. Is that stunning? And look at that beautiful scallop with all these pearls all over it. That's going to make beautiful flowers as well as putting on lace projects. I think it's gorgeous. And all of these, look at that 60s hat, the applique on it, the lace, uh, the ribbon is nice lace. Then it has all this applique throughout the tool flowing in the back. Really pretty. All of this for $15 in the bag. That's a good buy. So when you have to pay a little extra for something else, it all evens out in the wash, I think. And here's another one. And it has those shooting flowers coming out of it. I think it's stunning. And on, it had lace going miles long out the back of this one. This hung forever. It was gorgeous. And all that lace. So there was one, two, three, four, five, six head pieces that I got in that bag, which I think is a wonderful, wonderful buy. Now, this is in Canada where I got all of, no, those, yes. Now we're going back to Buffalo at the store where I got some of the dresses. This lamp I fell in love with. It has this uh, marble at the bottom base there. See it? And look at the top of that. I tried to get the light. I was doing this really late last night. And look at this lamp shade and the inside. There's not a thing wrong with it. I paid $14.99 but it was worth every penny when I redo this. The inside, ah, just beautifully made, very antique looking. I think when I lace this out, it will look gorgeous with that kind of rippling effect in the, sorry, I'm reaching around. Now listen to this.
Now, I homeschooled, my husband and I homeschooled our sons, and I thought having a schoolhouse was such a nice memory to have because they're all grown, and the way, you know, I love to have music boxes. Then we went over from there to Joanne's, and what a buy on this buttercream, beautiful products. I love buttercream. They're the best paints. That's the crackle. This is the uh, lace paint. It's absolutely beautiful. And I got some glue sticks because I used my 50% coupon, but these were all 90% off. That is fabric stiffener. And then these were 64 cents each at 90% off. I paid 64 cents. I got one of every color. And I'm telling you, buttercream is true to the name. It is like butter when you put this acrylic paint on. Is Look at the colors. They're absolutely the best ever. I love it. And I picked out one of every color. I didn't get greedy. I just took one, 64 cents for that and a dollar uh, 99 for the great big jars. Buttercream. Beautiful. There you go. Look at the paint. This is soft gloss. Just stunning for projects. But anyway, have yourself a blessed week. Thank you for joining me on this haul. And we will see you on the next haul because I do have another one. <laughs> Take care and we'll see you in the next video.